It's a marvelous adventure rushing on To a place in history, a man of courage With undying devotion to the spirit of adventure On the trail to destiny Alaska, the last frontier. Lying in the heart of this great land is a mountain, Mount McKinley. In the shadows of this mountain lives a man, a legend. His name is Norman Vaughn. At 93 years of age, Norman has lived a life many would envy and find hard to believe. And it was the Boston transcript. Headlines of the transcript were, Bird to the South Pole. Well, I couldn't believe it. I read it twice, and then I said to my roommates, look at this, I've got to go. Uh, I wanted to be the first off the boat onto the ice, and I climbed way out on the bowsprit, expecting the captain to put the bowsprit over land and turn and sidle up with the <laughs> starboard side against the ice. But instead of that, he turned the bowsprit way too soon and he coasted up against the ice. So that left me out on the end of the bowsprit with only deep water underneath me. So I had to scramble back and go off the boat with the rest of the fellows all jumping. I think I was about number 10 off, but I wanted to get off and turn around and wave to Bird and say, welcome, Admiral, we penguins are waiting for you. Upon returning from Antarctica, Norman went on to enter the 1932 Winter Olympics, later writing the first book on skiing in the United States titled Ski Fever. With the United States involved in World War II, Norman felt the need to serve, and serve he did. During Norman's military service, he rescued 25 stranded airmen by dog team after a plane crash, and later on, single-handedly rescued a Norden bombsite while it lie in view of German submarines. Norman decided at age 68 to head for Alaska. With his experience of dog mushing, it was only natural for Norman to enter the Iditarod race. At age 70, 13 races later, Norman competed in his last race at the age of 87, proudly being known as the oldest and slowest dog musher in Alaska, possibly the world. Pope John Paul II was coming to Alaska Norman thought, what a joy the Pope would have riding on a dog sled. When he came out and we greeted each other, he was very charismatic. And I said, Your Holiness, would you like to drive the dogs and I'll do the riding? And he looked at the Archbishop who said, okay, because the Archbishop said, if Vaughn said it's safe, it's all right. But just prior to going off, I said, Your Holiness, there's something I want to tell you. There's two dogs in here with bad names. And I hope I don't have to screech at them to make them work harder. And if I do, please accept apologies in advance. And he said, uh, what are their names? And I said, one is the devil and the other was Satan. And he looked at me and he said, don't take them out of the team. Leave them in just as long as I'm doing the driving. Uh, so we went off on the ride. It was very successful. But then when we got to the ramp and he went up the steps, he motioned to the crowd and blessed them and said, thank you for coming out and seeing me. I've had a great day in Anchorage. Then he looked down at me in the back of the sled and he said, bless the driver for he gave me a good ride. And then he looked at the dogs and he said, bless the dogs. And it wasn't until I got home that night that I realized that the Pope had blessed Satan and the devil. And I thought that was a pretty good anticlimax to the trip. At age 87, Norman Vaughn set out to do what many people thought to be impossible, to climb Mount Vaughn in Antarctica, the mountain Admiral Byrd named after him Despite a plane crash and several setbacks, Norman Vaughn summited Mount Vaughn three days before his 89th birthday. I'm almost at the top. I think I'm going to get two more steps. Up 
the top, Carolyn! Tremendous. And the best thing I can say about conquering it, if you call it conquering it, is that I dared to fail. And the one message that I think I want to send to the world is dream big. Young and old, dream big and dare to fail. Today at age 93, Norman isn't content with just memories. He's busy planning and organizing an expedition across Alaska by dog team. Known as the Serum 25, a 770-mile crossing from Nenana to Nome, retracing a route famous in Alaskan history. This is but a brief glimpse into the life of an extraordinary man. We hope to have you on board this exciting film project. For more information, contact Alan Smith at High Desert Productions. Colonel Vaughn, it's a marvelous adventure mushing on to a place in history, a man of courage with undying devotion to the spirit of adventure on the trail to destiny.